hello everyone so today we shall discuss unit 2 of child development and pedagogy paper 1 right so we have discussed unit 1 in detail and today we shall discuss unit 2 in detail as well so let us see what do we have all right so unit 2 is for five marks all right and there are we have to learn aspects of development in this particular unit so what are the different aspects of development number one we have physical development number two motor development number three cognitive development number four social and emotional development and number five we have uh, moral development all right so let us see let us read them one by one so here some of the important aspects of development are as fathers right so let us see what do we have about physical development so physical development refers to the changes in an individual's body including growth changes in motor skills and changes in sensory perceptions so here they are saying that physical development means the changes which occurs in the body of an individual including growth or changes in motor skills growth which we can see right somebody is growing tall somebody is uh, growing what to say uh, tall then strong then building muscles or getting getting weight so all these are the different changes we can see and motor skills like uh, they are able to move they are able to run like right? they are able to uh, walk so these are motor skills and changes in sensory perception so these changes in sensory perception means changes in the senses or how do we uh, how like how do we develop ideas about different things using our different senses right so physical development begins from conception and continues throughout the lifespan right so where when does physical development begins it begins till from the time of conception all right once the baby is formed inside the mother's womb the process of development starts and it continues as long as one is living or surviving that's why we always say that uh, development is a lifelong process or we say that uh, development uh, development goes from womb of the mother to tomb right womb to tomb so during early childhood what happens physical development is a rapid with changes in higher wage muscles development and growth and fire and motor skills so here they are saying that uh, during uh, during early childhood when when we see children no they they grow very fast right they grow very fast so what what are the different changes we can see in children especially so these are like the height as i was saying then weight gain of weight or lose of weight then muscle development right and gross and fine motor skills now gross and fine motor skills what do you understand by this so gross motor gross and fine motor skills means that the 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 parts of the body which we use is like for example fine motor skills example can be using your fingers and hand to write something all right and gross motor skills may mean playing a football right playing football playing cricket or cycling all this will come under gross motor skills however for fine motor skills we use small small muscles of our body like hands right then adolescence is marked by rapid changes in height weight and sexual maturation now here they are saying that when an individual becomes adolescent or when he or she is in their teen age what happens rapid changes can be seen in the height weight and sexual maturation the the adolescents they get sexually mature in adulthood what happens physical development continues but as a slower pace so it does not mean then that once we are an adult the process of development stops no it continues all right it goes on continuing but what happens it becomes slower the pace becomes slower with changes in sensory perception strength and stamina 
what so why people say this days you know this days a guy of um, these days a guy of 20 years or a guy of 15 years says i am getting old so right which is not right so what happens here is that uh, when people grow old that is like in their 50s 60s 70s they have less sensory perception right variations are there in sensory perceptions then they have less strength right they are physically not very strong they have weak bones right and they do not have stamina they cannot walk long distances they cannot run right they cannot walk for far distances they cannot do heavy duty heavy work right so why because as it was said that physical development is very fast during childhood and slow during adulthood right let's see what do we have in the next slide now let us see motor development right so motor development refers to the progression of a child's physical abilities and coordination skills particularly related to movements and control of the body all right so it is basically talking about the movement whenever you hear hear the word motor you understand that it is referring to the movement of an individual or of anything whatever is being discussed in that particular uh, topic all right so it encompasses the acquisition and refinement of gross motor skills larger movements involving the whole body or major muscles groups and fine motor skills smaller more precise movements usually involving the hands and fingers see this i have already explained to you what do we mean by cross motor skills and what do we mean by fine motor skills now motor development occurs as a result of the interplay between biological maturation environmental factors and opportunities for practice and exploration so they are saying that motor development does not take place alone but it works in between biological maturation so we 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 mature biologically and environmental factors also play important role in affecting our motor development and opportunities for practice and exploration also pays uh, also contribute to our motor development so in in in, in early infancy mo motor development begins with reflexive movements such as sucking grasping and kicking so when a child is small in an infant what happens we can see that so in 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 early infancy what happens motor development begins with reflexive movements such as sucking grasping and kicking so here what happens when an infant we see an infant what happens uh, motor development begins all right and how does it happen the child starts sucking all right the child is uh, breastfed and then grasping the child tries to hold with its with its horn like whole hand and then the child starts kicking right so these are some things which we see in children in infants so as the child grows what happens they gradually develop voluntary control over their movements including rolling so when as the child is growing we can see that the child starts rolling then then he starts crawling then sitting then standing and finally walking right so fine motor skills develop co concurrently involving the ability to manipulate object grasp utensils and perform tasks that require hand eye coordination such as writing drawing and trying sh shoelaces so as the child grows as the child starts going to school we see we usually see different different uh, abilities of the child so now the child can grasp the pen pencil eraser water bottle right and they and they improve their a hand eye coordination for example in writing in writing we are writing with the hand but we are also uh, like focusing with the eyes right then drawing we are looking with the eyes and we are drawing and also whenever we tie the shoelace all right so when we tie shoelaces we see the hand eye coordination of the child all right all right so now let us see motor development is an essential aspect of a child's overall development as it contributes to the physical fitness independence and ability to engage in daily activities so what it's saying is that motor development is important aspect all right of a child's 
overall development for once overall development motor development is very much important why because it contributes to the physical fitness of the child independence of the child and ability of the child to engage in daily activities now it also plays a crucial role right in cognitive development as we have seen that it does not work alone but along with other forms of development so here they are talking about cognitive development so what do we understand by cognitive development so cognitive development has to do with mental development of the child all right as motor skills and cognitive processes are interconnected and influence each other so they are saying here that motor skills and the cognitive skills that is the mental development and the um, motor development are connected with each other and they influence one another now motor development milestones are often used as indicators of a child's overall development and may vary based on individual differences cultural factors and environmental opportunities so here what they are saying is that by motor development milestones what are often used as indicators all right it is used as an indicator motor development is used as an indicator of a child's overall development so in order to be know we, we want to know the overall development of the child moral motor development helps us and it may be uh, different for different individuals all right based on different factors like the cultural factors or the environmental factors all right so here now let us see number three cognitive development so cognitive development refers to the changes in thinking learning and mental processing so here what cognitive development has to do is that it uses a brain right it like uh, by you uh, by cognitive development we mean the development of a brain so we use our brain when we are thinking when we are reading when we are writing when we are learning any skills right be it your studies be it any vocational course be it uh, be it solving uh, riddles or be it solving a uh, mathematical problems be it anything or language learning anything so what happens you are making use of your brain and as a result what happens cognitive development take place right so this domain is critical for understanding how individuals acquire knowledge think and solve problems so they are saying that this domain or cognitive development is critical why for understanding how individuals acquire knowledge so how do we acquire knowledge how do we think and how do we solve different types of problems altogether so it includes language development as i have said memory yes the way we memorize then attention perception problem solving and critical thinking so when we say cognitive development all these factors are involved like the language development so when we acquire language we are developing uh, mentally then when we acquire uh, critical thinking we are developing uh, mentally and then also like when we learn how to solve different types of problems we are said to be cognitively developing all right so cognitive development is a lifelong process that starts in infancy and continues in adulthood here also they are saying the same thing just like physical development that this process is a lifelong process and as it starts when an individual is just an infant right till adulthood all right so during childhood what happens cognitive development is rapid that means when when uh, when an individual is a child the develop the cognitive development takes place very fast with significant changes in language all right importance changes where in language in memory and learning right so changes takes place rapid changes takes place in language then memory and learning so adolescence is marked by a shift towards more complex thinking and reasoning including abstract thinking and hypothetical reasoning however when we talk about adolescence what happens is that uh, it is more complex right it involves more complex thinking then it involves reasoning and also abstract thinking and hypothetical reasoning right so abstract thinking 
the up uh, thinking about the things which we cannot touch we not cannot touch cannot see just like for example love care affection empathy right all these things we cannot see right so now let us continue with social and emotional development right so social and emotional development refers to changes in what in the way how individuals interact with others develop a relationship and regulate their emotions which means that uh, social and emotional development means we we develop socially or emotionally when we socialize with the people right as we know that no man is an island right so we human beings are social beings so we want to be in the society right we want to be with our friends we want to be with our family members we want to be with our partners we want to be with our relatives right so uh, we cannot live alone all right so we interact with one another right and then we regulate our emotions that is what are what are the different emotions to name some are like anger happiness sadness right so these emotions we we develop how to regulate these emotions when we are emotionally mature so this domain is critical for understanding how individuals form social connections and develop a sense of self love it says that this domain that is social and emotional development is important so that we understand how we as individuals socialize in the society and develop a sense of self and how we become aware of ourselves so social and emotional development includes the development of social skills emotional regulation empathy and self awareness the same thing what they said above so during early childhood what happens social and emotional development is marked by the formation of attachments the development of empathy and the ability to self regulate so they are saying that in early childhood what happens social and emotional development is marked by the formation of attachment right like when we are in our early childhood what happens we are attached to family members we are attached to friends we are attached to relatives right so we we have attachments we are very emotional right and we empathized with others and we have the ability to self regulate ourselves now what happens in adolescence is that in adolescence it is marked by identity social roles and able and roles and ability to form intimate relationships so in adulthood in in adolescence what happens is that it is marked by the changes so when we are adult we see changes in social roles so they act according to the roles given by the society and the ability to form intimate relationships so they form intimate relationships all right so in adulthood what happens social and emotional development continues with changes in identity relationships and emotional regulation all right so let us see what do we understand by moral development so moral development refers to the development of values beliefs and ethical behavior it means that we as individual we should have certain morals right we should have certain morals and we should have certain beliefs and we should have certain ethical behaviors this domain is very critical for understanding how individuals form their senses of right and wrong and their ethical code so this moral having moral values or being morally developed means that we know how to act in a society we know what is wrong we know what is right and we act according to the needs and demands of the society we act in such a way that society accepts us we design our behavior in such a way that uh the family members the society the friends and relatives they accept us right and we become wise and we choose wisely and we decide wise wisely what is wrong and what is right so during early childhood moral development is marked by the development of a sense of fairness and empathy so in in early childhood what happens we do not develop so much so we uh we just know that it is marked by the fairness that something which is done to you is fair enough and they have lots of empathy right they know how to empathize they know how to feel sorry so adolescence is marked by the development of a more complex sense of morality 
including the ability to reason about ethical dilemmas see but when we are in uh, when we are becoming adolescents so what happens we developed more and we know how to decide when we when we are in dilemmas we know which one is wrong which one is right which one should be go with and which one should we avoid so we know that all right in adulthood moral development continues with changes in values and beliefs and the ability to make ethical decisions in complex situations so when we are adult so during adulthood moral development continues all right and here we we can handle more complex situations and we can make better decisions now let's see the last point that is conclusion so overall the different domains of development are interconnected as we have seen physical development social development emotional developments cognitive developments and uh, moral development right so all these are connected interconnected and changes changes in one domain can influence and influence all right so they are saying here that change in one domain can influence another domain or may be influenced by another domain so understanding the different domains of development is essential for understanding how individuals grow learn and change throughout the lifespan so they are saying that understanding different domains all these domains we need to understand why so that we know we understand how individuals grow how individuals learn and how they change themselves throughout their life physically mentally socially emotionally and morally all right so this is all in this video and i think this is the end of unit two so we have completed from paper one child development and pedagogy uh, unit one and unit two so in the next video we shall start with unit three thank you everyone